So, you want to start a band and you're itching to rock out? That's cool. But just so you know, it takes a little practice to become a guitar hero. Let me give you a few pointers to get you started. This is it, your instrument. It can do a lot of cool stuff, but we'll start with the basics. See the five buttons on the neck of the guitar? They're the fret buttons. You hold one down to choose a note. Then to play the note you've chosen, use the strum bar. You can strum up or down. Easy, right? So let's get you tuned up and ready to rock. To tune a note, hold down a fret button. Then just strum up and down a couple of times. That's right. Good, next one. Sounding good. Nice, one more to go. All right, cool. So, now that you're tuned, let's play. Check it out. Notes will move towards you on the fretboard. When a note crosses the target at the bottom, you play it on your guitar. That's it. Give it a try. Nice. Yeah. That's it. All right. Total. All right. You hit them all. Now I'm going to toss some more notes at you. You match the note colors with the fret buttons on your guitar. When you hit enough, we'll move on. You done this before? You're a natural. Okay, to play a long note, hold down the fret button and strum as usual. But then keep holding the fret button down for the note's entire length. If you let go too soon, you'll hear the note cut off. Try a few long notes and remember to keep the fret button down for the entire length of the note. Really cool. You're ready to move on. All right, now we're ready for power chords. When you see two notes coming at you at the same time, hold down the matching fret buttons and strum to play the chord. Here's some chords for you to try. Give them a shot. That's the way. Sounds good. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, sounding great. Cool, there's just a couple more things I want to show you. This is the rock meter. It measures how well you're playing and tells you what the crowd thinks of you. If you're playing all right or just starting a tune, the meter will be in the yellow center. When you really start nailing notes, the meter will move to the green. Or if you keep messing up, the meter will drop down into the red. Listen up, the meter will blink red as a warning if you're about to lose. It means it's time to give it all you've got. This is the star power meter, but we'll save that lesson for later on. And this number over here is your score. Every note you hit gives you points. The more you hit, the more the points pile up. Which reminds me, did I ever tell you about the time I was in Amsterdam touring with the Stones? Oh man, that was a crazy tour. I was out one night with Keith Richards and we were trying to find some videos, you know, to bring back to the hotel where we had some groupies waiting for us. Oh man, that was wild! <laughs> Star Power is a way for you to get crowds roaring and nail those high scores. Here's the basics of how it works. This is the Star Power Meter. There are two ways to gain Star Power. Here's how. When you see notes that glow with energy, like those in this combo, play every note and you'll extract their energy as a Star Power Boost. 
All right, let's go. Remember, you have to hit every note in the combo to get the boost. You got it. This is the whammy bar. Notice that you can swivel it into a position that works for you. But to actually use it, you press it in towards the guitar. When you see long notes glowing with energy like these, you can use the whammy bar to extract their energy into your star power meter. As you play the note, push the whammy bar in and out until the note ends. Give it a shot. Great way to earn star power, am I right? When the star power meter flashes, it's telling you it's ready to go. At which point you can lift your guitar upright to release star power's pure rock energy. The result is awesome. The crowd goes crazy and your note scores double. But the power surge ends when the meter is totally drained. Ready to try it? Lift the neck up high and then play these notes. Get the neck of the guitar up in the air. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, rocking. Man, you rock. Rock on. Cool. Now that you know how to harness star power, go and unleash it in front of an audience. Now, Amsterdam, where, where was I? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So Keith is in the middle of a solo. He yells out, What the bloody hell is all this then? There's beer on my guitar! Of course, I've got another guitar ready, but the local roadies just heard bloody beer on my guitar. Next You're back, all right. This time we're gonna cover some cool moves called hammer-ons and pull-offs. They're how guitarists nail the really fast stuff. Let's tackle hammer-ons first. Check out how the fingers play this sequence of notes. You hold down the green fret button and strum to play it as usual. But for the next note, while keeping the green held, press or hammer on the red fret button. No strumming needed. And again, now with the green and red held, hammer on that yellow fret button. You should try it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. That's hammer-ons in a nutshell. Now I'm going to toss some more notes at you. Use the hammer-on technique to nail them. That's it. All right. Totally. You're getting it. That's the way. Sounds good. Nice. Hammer-ons take some time to master, but they are totally worth it. Now, let's talk about pull-offs. They're basically the same trick as a hammer-on, but in reverse. I'll break it down into steps for you. Hold down the green, red, and yellow fret buttons and strum to play the initial note. Now, let go or pull off the yellow and only the yellow fret button. Then pull off the red while continuing to hold down the green. I think you're ready to try this. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's pull-offs. Cool, you've got the concept. Practice pull-offs on this group of notes I'm sending your way. That's it. Away. Sounds good. Yeah. That's it. So next time you're trying to riff on something really fast, remember, hammer-ons and pull-offs are the answer. All right, Guitar Hero, go make some noise.
Speaking of noise, did I ever tell you the time I was schlepping equipment from Metallica and I had to stand in for Kirk because he had some kind of stomach flu? He handed me his guitar saying, you know this tune, right, dude? Then he ran for backstage. I don't even know if he ever made it. But man, I got to rock on stage with Metallica. <laughs>